Now guys, I know I said that yesterday would be my last video before next week, but I just couldn't help it. We've had some massive news drop today about preload times, the time the game's gonna be released and other bits and pieces about a day one patch. And I thought, you know what? If you didn't read this because not everyone really likes Reddit, do they? It would break my heart that you didn't know this. And because I love and care for you so much, I'm here putting in this effort to give you the news that you deserve. But before we carry on, as always, I encourage you to hit that subscribe button and click the bell next to it so you never miss an Outriders video. And if you do find yourself enjoying a video, leave a like, please, because it helps the channel because algorithm. So Outriders, it come through on my Discord channel about that some news has dropped and this is to do with the one week till launch dev update, which they've now just released as we can see on the screen. So we're gonna go through it all together now for the first time. So bear with me guys, let's jump straight in. First things first is preloading and launch timings. Preloading, Xbox preloading will be live today. PlayStation platforms preloading will begin 48 hours in advance in advance of release time. Steam, we are still determining our preload options here and hope to share news about the possibility of it next week. Epic Game Store, preloading is not currently possible. Rip. Anyway, Xbox crew, get that pre-downloading that now. PlayStation guys two days before. Steam, they'll let us know uh, possibility of it next week. So you're probably gonna find out about that. Wait there. Share news about the possibility of it next week. Oh yeah, the game gets released next week. So I'm thinking, oh yeah, it's Thursday. Yeah, it's a week, isn't it? <laughs> Launch times, rolling midnight, unlock for consoles. Sweet. Consoles, Xbox and PlayStation will unlock at midnight on April the 1st for your specific country. Well, that's my mind made up then. I am playing it on PlayStation 5. For the USA, this means midnight EDT April the 1st, which is 21 PDT on March the 31st. Unified single global time for PC and Stadia. The platforms will release on April the 1st at 1700, 9 a.m. PDT. These platforms can only release at a single time globally, brackets. This is due to how their stores are set up. And then you can click on a link there, which is a countdown timer and that'll just give you the day, hours, seconds, minutes. That will help you understand how long to go in your specific region. This time is the standard PC release time for Square Enix and has been carefully chosen to ensure that maximum amount of support and partner staff are on hand to deal with any launch day issues. Now, if you are quite pissed off at this, if you are on PC Stadia, they do say underneath quickly, someone replied, rip Steam users having to wait 12 hours after console launch and Someone from Square Enix did reply saying, someone will always be playing before someone. Unless we force a global launch time, it would increase stress on service and would likely mean that you still have to wait until 5 p.m. GMT on launch day. It makes sense, guys, and fair play to them for being upfront and honest. We cannot complain about that. Let's go. What's changed between the latest demo build and the launch day build of Outriders? The highlights Wait there, below is only a condensed overview. In truth, the launch day build contains a multitude of additional general improvements, balancing, bug fixes, and crash resolutions. Highlights include lots of demo content bug fixes, including, for example, mods on some legendary weapons not triggering properly, balancing changes for various items, mods, enemy stats, and loot drops. Balancing is an ongoing process and we have learned much from internal playtests, the insider's preview and the demo over the previous months. However, we're sure that we will continue to learn more from the launch of the main game and the feedback provided by you, our community, so keep it coming. Crossplay will no longer be in beta and will be on by default. That's been flawless for me personally, I've had no issues when playing with friends on other consoles. PC players will be able to add cross-platform players that they have previously played with to their friends lists. Consoles will receive this functionality through a future patch. Glad to hear that, that's a really good touch. Please note that if you turn cross-play off manually, you will not be able to automatically matchmake with people who still have it turned on. Even if you are all on the same platform, direct inviting should still work though. 
So don't turn it off, guys. There's no need to because there's no PvP. You're not going to be a disadvantage up against anyone anyway, are you? DirectX 12 will be the default on PC. Added a quick mark functionality to your inventory. This will allow you to mar mass mark all items based on their rarity in one or two button presses, rather than needing to mark items individually, which is still possible if which is still possible if preferred. Thank you. What a great change that is. Improvements to the cover system. Meh. Improvements to travel voting system used when in a group. Added information about internal cooldown mechanics for mods to their descriptions. But wait. There's more, they say. Find out about our patch intentions here. As you progress through the main game, you'll also have full access to the crafting system, character levels, all world tiers and more. No more grinding for legendaries at world tier five. Yeah! We recommend playing through the story and enjoying the experience first. Legendaries will drop naturally over time as you push your world tier higher and get expeditions content. Should we have a quick look on here? What's this say? No, wait there. I think we've we've done that with that patches and post launch. Yes, here we go. Patches and post launch support. We currently have a few patches undergoing testing and submission. It is our full intention to release patches across all platforms simultaneously. Sim, sim, simultaneously. Bloody hell. Though this may not always be possible. Below are our pre-planned patches. However, as with the demo, we will be carefully monitoring the launch and it's our full intention to, on short notice, hotfix any issues that we are able to reproduce and resolve on our side that are deemed severe enough. Issues of lesser, lesser severity that we're able to reproduce and resolve will likely be bundled into the bigger post-launch follow-up patch for the sake of efficiency. Day one patch. This is the patch we're hoping to have ready to integrate it into preloading even before launch. Many bug fixes and improvements with a particular focus on the latter sections of the game. Performance improvements for pacing, stuttering that was observed during a demo. Camera smoothing improvements for cutscenes and dialogues. This should reduce the camera shake that some players are struggling with. Thank you, it does shake way too much. Cutscenes, dialogues, frame rate improvements. PC cutscenes better lot will have the option to choose from 30, 60, 90, 120. Why you would choose 30, I don't know. That's a good touch. Xbox Series X and PS5 cutscenes will be locked at 60. Thank you very much. And um, Xbox One and PlayStation 4 cutscenes will remain locked at 30. That's fair enough. Post launch follow up patch and upcoming optimizations. We have an additional pre-planned patch that is intended to address any recently reported issues or bugs coming out of the demo that the, that the run to launch didn't allow us enough time to implement beforehand. The resolutions for any non-urgent bugs are discovered during launch may well be rolled into this patch. At this point in time, we do not yet have a set release time for this patch as its release will depend on the amount of content we want to roll on it. We are expecting this to roll out at least a few weeks after launch. Newly discovered severe issues will be hotfixed earlier and separately from this patch, of course. Below are our intentions for this patch. Controller adjustment options such as dead zone adjustment, acceleration settings and legacy layouts. That makes me happy. Guys, I started playing on PC recently because controller just felt really off. And I have to admit, mouse and keyboard, this game just feels so good. So that makes me happy. Loading time improvements for Xbox One and PlayStation 4 consoles. That's nice to hear for you guys still on them. Further performance improvements for co-op games. Crossplay friends list and invite system across all platforms. This will require you to be using a Square Enix members account. So make sure you, I think you need to use that to log into the game anyway. Bug fixes including, for example, lore collectible bugging out on second characters. This list will continue to be built out as we progress through launch. Right, that was patches and post-launch support. I don't want to get... Right, item restoration for players who lost their legendaries. That doesn't affect me because I only got one legendary and I'm not salty about that at all. As mentioned in our previous dev update, we intend to restore legendaries to players who lost them as a result of a specific bug. This restoration is taking place right now as part of today's maintenance today's date. Restoration is a one-off event for the global player population. Restoration will take place on today's date and will restore any legendaries lost before March 22nd. Only legendary weapons that were lost can be restored. 
Please check whether your lost legendary weapons have been restored once the maintenance has ended. So by today, you should have your lost legendaries restored, if you had any. Since we implemented our fix for this bug, we have observed a smaller number of continued reports regarding lost legos. We believe most of these to be down to the regularity of the game auto saving rather than a specific bug. Put simply, if you found a legendary but the game was terminated before the auto save would occur, that legendary or any other item would never have made it into your server inventory hour logs. Instances, if instances of this occurring include players using specific farming methods, <laughs> captain, that are so fast that they prevent the game from triggering an auto save cycle before the farming run is reset. In extreme cases, some players may go for long periods of time without auto saving. Players crashing out of the game just before or after they pick up a legendary. Guys, just if you see it drop, get it. That is all you can do. Just, just run. We are continuing to investigate such use cases and we are looking into how we can mitigate against them in the future. While we, are hope, while we hope that we manage to restore as many legendaries as possible, we expect there to be niche cases of players not having a legendary restored because it never arrived in our logs as per the use case above. Other than potentially missing out on the legendary mod guys, playing the full game, you're gonna level up the will tier straight away and you're probably gonna get, you're gonna get like legendaries dropping from certain caches when you're in in the game anyway. So please don't fret too much. I've lost myself now. While we hope that we manage to restore as many legendaries as possible, we expect there to be a niche case. Yep, done that. In this case, please reply to this sub-thread. So just reply to this sub-thread. I'll leave the link down in the description below anyway, guys. So item restoration. Uh, our policy on cheating and hacking. Why the fuck would you want to cheat and hack in this game? If you do, man, go away. Please, go away. For context, at the time when we reached around 2 million players, we identified 200 players who had it all clearly cheated. <laughs> Sorry, man. Anyway, in percentage terms, that's 0.01%. We can see you all. Yes, even a person who gave themselves 600 legendary weapons. <laughs> what? I didn't know that. <laughs> we trust this percentage will not grow by much as we move through and beyond launch. But below are the steps we will take to ensure that legit players will not have their fun spoiled as a result of cheaters. Repercussions are being identified of being a cheat. Repercussions are account wide, not character specific. You will not be able to match make with legit players. Matchmaking will likely take significantly longer. You will still be able to play solo. In future, your HUD will have a discrete but visible watermark placed on it so that gameplay footage created on this account can be readily identified as coming from a flagged account. Ah! All accounts will be checked for evidence of cheat use on launch day, April the 1st, and then at regular intervals thereafter. Any account logs found to have evidence of cheating on them or after launch day will be permanently branded. Oh dear, you're going to get branded. People are going to know. There will be shame put up on you. If you cheated during a demo just to try it out but wish to go into the main game unbranded, you must delete all characters and items on your entire account in order to wipe your slate clean. You should not carry over any progress between demo and main game if you previously cheated but do not plan to do so in the same in the main game. Who is, what is considered cheating? Here we go. Intentionally running the game on PC without easy anti-cheat. Modifying game files to enhance a character, levels, skills, inventory, etc. Externally modifying game time to reduce time-dependent features such as vendors and challenges. I know there was a lot of that going on. We see you because you're going to have a little watermark on your screen anyway. Using a trainer program or similar to gain advantages within the game. I need a trainer program for, man. I ain't fucking Apex, is it? Using gameplay altering programs such as... <laughs> Aimbox or wall hacks, mate. Individual players who are found to be regularly kicked by multiplayer hosts shortly after joining may also be manually reviewed as an additional anti-cheat, anti-grief safeguard. Good, I like this. Learning from games that are already out there that haven't quite got that down yet. Using performance tweaking software such as Reva Tuner, for example, to improve a personal game experience is not considered cheating. Farming is not considered cheating, even though the amount of battering <laughs> that that captain underwent could be considered unethical rip that captain we reserve the right to update and change his policy at any time in the future last but not least guys hell's rangers info the hell's rangers content will become available via your stash for anyone who owns it this means that even if you progress through the story without it you will not miss out on acquiring it in game please note that this gear is level locked to level 10 so you will need to meet its requirements achieving level 10 or playing on a certain level boosting world tiers before you're able to use it 
I think that is some really good notes there. They've gone into a lot of detail. They've covered everything here, preloading launch times, all the way through to cheating and the Hells Rangers info. I will leave the link down in the description below if you want to just take a bit of time to maybe click on the here is a countdown link so you can just have it on your phone or something like that. I think this is actually my last video before launch because I'm going to be playing it at midnight. So I'm going to need to prep loads of stuff, maybe prep some thumbnails in order to get content out there. I will be streaming from midnight UK time though over on my Twitch channel, which I will also link down in the description below, guys. I will also link my Discord down, which I think I do every time. That is it from me. That is the video. I am really, really hyped for next week. I cannot wait. Let me know your thoughts down below on what we've just gone through, guys. Also, let me know what you're going to be playing first. Guys, hope you have a good rest of your day, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care, Outriders.